Today, we're going to take a look at an article from Canatech Today about automation, the cannabis industry, and how artificial intelligence is going to revolutionize the cannabis industry. This is actually going to be a recap from what we did as a crystal ball prediction that both automation and, and maybe AI was going to take over the industry. So you can take a look at that uh, that video that we did previously. But for this follow-up, it's important to know that there's been a lot of money printing from the government to the tune of trillions of dollars, and cannabis companies aren't going to be able to keep up uh, unless they automate. So things are getting more expensive, and that includes labor. And so really, if it's going to normalize, it's going to include some automation. Welcome back to The Talking Hedge. I'm Josh Kincaid, Capital Markets Analyst and host of your Cannabis Business Podcast. So a lot of people think uh, artificial intelligence is going to be this robot that's going to take over the world. Uh, I've seen a lot of movies, at least I did growing up like RoboCop. You weren't quite sure what was going to happen. They could turn against you, trying to take over the world and all of that. But um, there's a lot of people who use AI algorithms with machine learning and I am one of them. So we have uh, a investment, it's called the C3 fund, and it uses an AI based um, algorithm. It's got technical analysis with predictive analytics, and it's up 9% over the last two months since August, whereas some other ETFs that you may have heard of like PodX and MJ, they're down negative 18%, negative 14% respectively. So it's not that we're trying to take over the world, but uh, there's pros and cons to you know the high frequency traders that you've heard of and the robot traders that you've heard of, just like there's good and bad things as it pertains to the cannabis industry. One of the biggest uh, dilemmas or uh, you know, jumping off points is what about the jobs? It's gonna take over jobs. And that's been uh, from time immemorial. So whether you were riding a horse and you thought the automotive industry was gonna take over jobs, you know, it did, but it also created jobs. So it's, um, it's a matter of, of flowing with the times. So we're gonna kind of jump in and see, you know, what is gonna happen in the industry as automation and artificial intelligence starts to creep into the cannabis industry. So automation, it's from cultivation and production to retail and sales. AI has numerous applications in the cannabis field, but cultivators should probably look at autonomous growing techniques to improve their margins. It's one of the few things that investors are putting their money into as they kind of focus on multi-state operators because they like that commercial property, something that's tangible, property, plant, and equipment. Um, so Obviously, with growing, it's a commodity, and commodities are a race to the bottom in terms of pricing, uh, especially when it becomes publicly traded as a commodity, you're going to see short sellers dropping that price substantially. So automation is going to bring environmental controls, it's going to bring in irrigation accuracy and transfer into high quality uniform crops. Highlighting the two important benefits of, of automation and AI technologies is efficiency and accuracy. Having this amount of consistency, controls, and accuracy naturally leads to more consistent products, is, which is going to help the industry with regulatory shifting regulations. And at the same time, the technology also makes the entire operations run more efficiently by seamlessly and automatically making adjustments and reducing labor. But humans still have a role in automation, so it extends the abilities of existing employees by empowering them with new tools and data. So the data shows that smart lighting can reduce energy use while keeping yields at optimum performance. They don't think that artificial intelligence and automation is going to be applied to the cannabis industry as a new idea. In fact, automation has been a proven part of the agricultural industry for decades. So what does this all look like when it's actually in practice? We might be able to see software learning the patterns of the plants over a period of time. And so it's able to automatically adjust things like the temperature and moisture content, a number of other environmental aspects. If you have a camera focused on a leaf and it's tacoing and it's yellow, then you're going to know that it's either environmental factors like a too much fan, uh, too much wind on there, or it's nutrients. It should be able to pick that up though, regardless. And so predictive analytics is going to make assumptions based on human experience that future results will be able to follow patterns from the past. So currently predictive an analytics is limited by the volume, time, and cost constraints of human data analysts. 
an AI system is able to make assumptions, test, and learn autonomously. So by learning the data patterns, the AI can not only adjust climate, but also can predict things such as harvest yields and potential issues such as disease or pest outbreaks. And while technology is kind of a, a trendy word, people want AI and all of this, it sounds like an easy fix, but it's not gonna come without its own set of issues. So one of the learning curves is to bring the growers up to speed to show the value of automation and how that can improve facilities and show that they can trust the control systems. But one of the challenges is getting access to quality data to inform the systems and correctly define the problem statements before training the model. So one of the most common challenges that they've seen is using AI and getting your new technology to work with the older technology and obviously finding what kind of tech is right for you. Cultivators are going to have to take the time to learn these new systems. And on the other hand, the systems are going to take time to learn the data patterns of the cultivation facility. So while automation is a long-term investment, it's going to pay off eventually for harvest after harvest. Danger Will Robinson. Now, a lot of people think that the AI is self-awareness and that these computers are going to be, you know, science fiction taking over, but there's not really a need to worry about that yet. I don't think we have to worry that they're going to be plotting to take over the world. I think what the major issue is moving forward is that growers have to be given this new technology to make their jobs easier and their businesses more reliable and also to stay in business because without it, it's going to cost too much as you're going to see uh, other areas like Colombia coming up with great terroir and low labor. So without the automation, a place like Canada is not going to be able to grow bananas, let alone cannabis. Same with Florida. I think there's going to be a lot of powdery mildew in order to offset those costs. If they want to grow in those areas, they're going to have to come up with more creative solutions like automation and artificial intelligence. With that, we're going to roll this one up. I'm Josh Kincaid. This is The Talking Hedge. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, or don't, and I'm out. Don't forget to smash that like button on your way out and check out these other videos that we've got.